all these uh, people that want to rise up. Like you, you want to rise up against me and I do not want to deal with that. Mogastan, well there's no helping that. Yeah, even the people around here, what was that, Ardabil? How could you guys possibly want to rise up against me? I don't get it. Oh yeah, the whole sowing discontent thing. Okay, well, good enough. Vaska, all my mill power. There we go. At least I got a touch of absolutism now. I'm a little worried about that Timmy integration, truth be told. Alright, you are the Kaffa. We're doing everything here. Not a bad place to be. you, but I don't like you that much. 58, so it's only going to take four years. So yeah, I really need the Ottomans to finish up with this war. Would it be worth picking up the Integrate Timmy mission? Sinyar. Where is Sinyar? Plantations. That's a pretty nice... Uh, or Sanyan. Okay, there, I got some good, very good missions here. Especially with two base production, where would it be better? And where is Zan Yan? That is the main question. Ah, I see it. Spices or sugar? Well, I think those spices are going places. Unlike the Ottomans in this war, please finish that off. Also, please marry me. That province has 100% autonomy, Jake. And Sandyar does not. But still, it doesn't impact on the goods produced, just the everything else I get from it. James, why is it so autonomous? Oh well, not to worry. Winners don't worry. They just do. Oh no! Timmy's going to be integrated even faster. That is troublesome. Well, you know, if the war goes really well, I can just feed them some Ajam provinces very quickly. Which I need the Ottomans to be done with this war. It's, uh, it's costing me here. I could buff up my Diplo rep to uh, drag them in. That is an option. I wouldn't need to buff it up by much either. I could take a policy and hire somebody. Uh, I think that's about as far as it goes though. Yeah, my overextension going away would help. And it almost... No, not quite. Mogastan is a problem. Just trying to think what I could do to bring them in. Boosting trust is another thing, but I don't have enough to do that and call them in with favors. <laughs> Diplomatic relations, but this is Diplo rep. I'd need to finish quantity ideas though. And that, uh, that's a wee bit away. Uh, this is great, Ottomans, but uh, I think you can get what you need out of the Mamluks here. Hmm, this is troublesome. the Ottomans finish off that war soon and that I drag them into this other one very quickly. So I need to keep an eye on when that finishes up. But yes, this speed of integrating you 
Gee, it's only going to take a bit over two years to be done. There we go. That's what we're looking for. The time for war is upon us, Ottomans, and you need to help us out. I need to occupy lots of land pretty quickly, to be honest. What is the most expensive province that they have that I want back? Six, nine, no, none of that. Samarkand, oh, Samarkand is 41. We're having that then. It's also their capital. I'm not sure if I actually want to to take that. It's going to be hilariously expensive. Well, no guts, no glory. I doubt I'll be able to take everything I want in this war as well. I mean, let's be realistic here. The cost for their entire country is 300. You don't get that much of a discount, and I am taking their capital area here as well. But maybe it'll be enough that I can fight Transoceana for more later. So we will go for this. Samarkand must be ours. The Ottomans will join in. Do I want Ajam as a co-belligerent? That would bring in Uzbek and Akkiyunlu. Not normally a problem, but I'm not sure I want Ajam to be a co-belligerent anyway. I'm not scared of the aggressive expansion, honestly. Gujarat are the only ones outside of this whole place that's getting it, and I'm eating them up like dindins. And the Ottomans already love me. Long may that remain the case. Mm, bringing in Akkayunlu is bothersome, because I can use them to, uh, to get the Ottomans involved for more wars without promising them land. But I can also get them out with white peace. Which makes Uzbek the only real problem here. Probably shouldn't underestimate the Uzbeks. I did last time and it cost me a wee bit. A jam, a jam, a jam. If I make you a co bill, I can wipe you off the map entirely. That's pretty um, desirable. And you're also sorely lacking in fortification. I could wipe you out very quickly and just give your land to Timmy. I think I will go for it, even if it does involve more Uzbeks. For you. So give us Samarkand, please. Uzbeks are at war, Jake. There's no guarantee that they won't join in. Ushash, Afghanistan, Shirvan, Mazandaran, that shouldn't impact on this. Unless a jam's gonna bring in any of those. At Kayunlu, but that was not one of them. We'll just go for it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I'm practically challenging the game to tell me what is the worst that can happen. Let's take Samarkand. And we're in something of a hurry here, because I need to feed Timmy and feed him fast. Then again, I am just about to have some Shia Zealots rise up here, so I also don't want to have to deal with that. Maybe I should fully core this one. It's not that expensive. Okay, who's back are joining in? No big surprise, honestly. And there we go. Oh, no, that's just Shirvan. That's nothing to worry about. All right, go, my friends. Go, go, go. Dance for me. Oh, and the Uzbeks are bringing in the Russians again. Color me surprised. I should really mobilize my troops before Timmy gets inside me. It's only two years. Two years to wipe out a country. So, uh, I really don't want to lose this progress, though. That's the difficult part. Shia Zealots. It's a very small amount of them that I have to expect, though. 12,000? I mean... You should be able to take care of them. Especially if I give you good old Bane. Bane's well versed in that. Afghanistan, they're not going to get involved. They're cowards. That's some scarily fast integration, though. Which means I should probably tell the Ottomans to focus on... Oh, I won't be able to wipe him out anymore. He just grew a bit. Not to mention his capital's a bit more expensive. Still, Ottomans, please take that. If you don't, I will. 
I think, uh, oh well, damn. Ottomans knows what's what. I'll take care of the small fries then. It's going to be very not funny for me if I get wiped out in the north and then those uh, Shia zealots do horrible, horrible things to me. But the Ottomans are keeping us relatively safe around here. <laughs> Tuniz guarantees the Mamluks. That means Tuniz are trying to control the power of the Ottomans. Interesting. There's going to be war between those two if that keeps up. Alright, that jam's got to go. Yeah, I know I can juggle with scootage. I just don't want to because if somebody backs the independence of Timrids and I have plenty of enemies that would, then that's also going to be pretty grim for me. Alright, Fars is seeing the bright side. Fars is also not... Uh, not converting their lands. I wonder what's up with that. Good. The land is going to our... Oh, B General Bean. I bet the she has killed you. Alright, well, let's get ourselves somebody else. Uh... Hatim Bay. He's like uh, Kurdish Michael Bay. Oh, and he's not too shabby. Actually, he has Siege, which means I want him over here. You can have Shadow, actually. When Shadow becomes free. Uh, oh, right, Shadow is still on that. Well, never mind. You get. Grand Jester, and then Michael Bay is taken over here. When did Jake's corn his in Kaifa? It's going to change depending on absolutism here, but it's going to be gone in 40 years. I don't think I'm going to keep that core very, very sadly. He's trying to make Turkish the primary culture there. That's utterly disgusting. Oh, man. Does life imitate art? This is very sad. And Shirvan is once again trying to sow discontent amongst my land. Alright, times of need. We can ask Osman Oglu for men, a general. Diplomatic aid, administrative aid. Now, my Diplo sucks. I would love some Diplo. Well, I... You know, I'm kind of getting there, actually. Maybe I'm going to want the... Ad no. No, I need the Diplo. I always forget what different things you get here. Although manpower it would be very nice. Yeah. Surely he'll help us out. He's a nice guy. Alright, progressing well on the trans front. Ah, damn. Damn, a jam's gonna come and liberate his capital if the Ottomans don't come and help me out. I knew we had a friend in the Ottomans. Huge boost. And a wee bit of uh, dips, always nice. Alright, hopefully our professional armies will be able to hold. Was there ever any doubt? Shirvan get a diplomat? Well, too bad. That's good though, that gives me just cause to fight you. Oddly enough, the Ottomans never really want that land, but when they get there next... Osman Oglu, I'm certain things will change. And the coalition is back. People are no longer killing themselves. But I mean, who's it going to be? It's going to be probably Shirvan, Afghanistan. Who else could even join? Uzbek? No, I'm at war with Uzbek. I'm not seeing many people who's going to join this. I'm at war with most. 
Mushasha, of course. Mushasha hate my guts, and they're allied. So it's going to be Mushasha, Shirvan, and Afghanistan. Shirvan, however, is... Oh yeah, I forgot Mazandaran, but don't we all? Hmm. Oh well, we'll deal with it. Have you ever seen the AI form the HRE? Yes, although it is exceptionally rare, but I have played a lot of this game, so don't sweat it. Alright, excellent. We got that. In fact, our friends here, our so-called friends, are almost toast. So we will eradicate them, at least as much as we can. I'm going to feed Fars, and I really hope Fars start converting their land. I don't know why they don't. Uh, yeah, Shirvan joined in, but that's no mis uh, no nothing unusual. Is what I'm trying to say. Trying and failing. I mean, I could placate him. Uh, we'd give a ten reduction to that. <laughs> he wouldn't like me placing a relative on the throne. That's for sure. It's not like he's having financial issues here. Well, we'll see what comes of it. He has cores of plenty here. I'm going to give these provinces over to Timmy. Timmy's going to get stronger, and that's and Fars is going to get stronger. <laughs> that's something to consider, actually. There we go. It's Fahan. It's a Timmy one anyway. This one can also go to uh, probably Fars. I want him to convert this stuff. But on the other hand, I need Timmy to have more development, so he slows down here. Actually, all things considered, maybe we can not worry too much about that. Mm, that's the complacency that gets people killed. I'll probably give him that province. This probably belongs to Fars. I mean, the reason I have Fars here is so that he can uh, convert this land for me. Oh, there is religious zeal here. Well, well noticed. I sure didn't notice. No, it isn't here. I wonder if Timmy even cares that much about converting this land. He hasn't gone for the Shia province, even though it's Persian. But I mean, a few token Shia provinces is no big deal. I still just don't want to have to deal with them, though. That's the, that's the crux of the matter for me. And that's kind of good. Oh, it's a Timmy core, so of course I'll give them that. And that does that. Makes a lot of people very unhappy, but not people that I really care about, you know, deeply. Nagai, Hassa, Baluchistan. So we might have some new faces in the Coalition Sandwich. Trouble is they don't want to make this piece. Well, they won't have much choice very soon. Just gotta make sure the Osmanoglu are still sweet. And why wouldn't they be? Probably gonna spy on Shirvan actually, because they have some cracking tech. But I'm low on diplomats to juggle about here. What's the Ottoman force limited current army size? The Ottomans have 181, plus 20, so 201, 312,000 standing army. Of course, there's more to it than that, isn't there? Their force limit is 445, 313. Next month, a jam is gone. Okay, this seems to be delayed. Ah, of course, because the Timurids are uh, 
Occupado there. Michael Bay takes control. And we eat up this land. Hell yeah. Bring on the coalitions. And I almost have enough favours to bring the Ottomans into another war, but not quite. People hate us so much. Okay, I think I'm going to take this. It costs a lot of money. But I don't see... I don't see provinces that I'm desperately waiting for this to spread to. Okay, maybe, maybe Arleville. Do I even still want Bam? I'm left wondering why I have this. Drinking up that power projection, though, that feels damn good. Don't need to have my embargo on... who? Mushasha. Okay, Mushasha can't be my enemy anymore. Jake, is there a possibility that Saladin's ghost can whisper in the Turk's ear, as in espionage ideas? There's a chance, but I'm not going to go for it, because I am wanting offensive ideas later on. I need to have a ridiculously strong army to fight Turk, and that is why I've been focusing on military since day one? Am I wrong there? Am I right? I'm glad we're focusing on cash, though. Damn, cash is king. I am, a, I am in an excellent position to fight Mazan Duran. Afghanistan would be a, uh, well, we'd be involved, but do you think I could take on Afghanistan right now? My tech is superior to theirs. How big of an army do they have? <laughs> Can't really narrow it down with negative opinion, but still. Uh, uh, Afghans. 21,000. I would just have to maul these guys to death, and boy could I do that. And then just stroll over to Afghanistan and win. They have forts, sure. The Ottomans would take care of all this, but damn, those Shia zealots just won't rise up. Could harshly treat them. But uh, I'd rather they just rose up. The downside would be if Mazan Daran joined that coalition. But maybe they're too scared. Plenty of other people seem to be. Shirvan was not, though. In two minds about that. There we go, let's just bring it on. I should also consider actually spending my money on doing some goodness for my army. I need a lot of men, and I currently do not have enough. I would love some regimental camps as well, but there's only so far I can bring that one. Actually, when I fill out quantity ideas, that uh, force limit in uh, impact will help a lot. I need a bigger army after all. Shirvan and Mazandaran are having a lover's quarrel. Multan at Kiyunlu. What to do with that Kiyunlu? I mean, my thought is just to white piece them out so I can fight them later on. But this looks good for a rack. Timmy isn't. I uh, know he's still obsessed with Bosnia. Because I want to feed this to a rack and then just integrate them. They are costing me too much tension with the Ottoman. Also, they're not very good. The opportunity to fight Mushasha is not very strong, though. Hmm. It's not really worth the money there. Alright, that might be good. Iraq really wants this stuff as well, but... I don't want the Ottomans suddenly deciding that they should be carving up Iraq as well. And it's not a lot of aggressive expansion here either. How do the Ottomans feel about all my aggressiveness? Not too bad, actually. Alright, I'll take that. There's no big deal to be had there. Your alliance with Nagai is no big deal. Your alliance with the Jam is useful. And I don't care about a man. 
All right, looks good to me. Finally. Wait, that's not what I expected. I was expecting some sheer zealots there. So he'll get this converted, he'll get this... Art Hassa is also entering that coalition. I'm certain Mazandaran really want to. But I don't want to deal with them right now. Then again, he doesn't seem very scared of me. I could stack wipe him. It's just these goddamn Shia zealots. I don't want to impact on my autonomy in that way. I could harshly treat them for 50 mil, get into position, crush you, and then get to war with Afghanistan, which will be expensive. I don't have the manpower to sustain such a war very well. But... It would pull you out of that coalition, and that coalition is troubling. I think that's for the better, actually. So yeah, then I finally get to annex you. Yeah, that's too good an opportunity to pass up, honestly. I need to get him into position without him joining the coalition, and I know how likely that is. Well, at least I get some absolutism out of this. Alright, get over there, fast as you can, and pray that Mazandaran does not join a coalition. I mean, they haven't so far, so the odds of them doing it in the next month is pretty astronomically low. He sees that I'm coming. I won't be able to catch him so unaware, sadly. I think we can have a good shot at this, though. I am going to be taking your... Well, everything, to be honest. I quite want this province for myself, because it's a centre of trade. But it's going to be expensive, and the folks here should be feeding my good friend, Timmy Tims. Mmm, speaking of... Tim Tims aren't very happy. Their dip tech is far superior to my own. I mean, I know somebody who can help me out with that. <laughs> I want that contribution as well, though. Maybe I can just take both. It's probably not worth that money to make them that unhappy. Still, though, it's worth considering that they're not very happy, which means people can support their independence. In fact, why is everybody so unhappy with me? I know you enforced religion on you, but what's getting on with you? Are my vassals allying each other or something? Surely not, they have, uh... Maybe they just bulked up for this war. Or maybe they've got decent tech for a change, because I'm not very strong, that's the thing. And Timmy are about to get a lot stronger here. Okay, I need to get better. I need to get a lot better. Regardless, though, there are wars to be had. And yeah, that has been stopping the annexation. It's alright, I can develop in my subjects. Although that looks to be pretty expensive in most provinces. And kind of counterintuitive, because then I have to pay for coring that as well, or integrating their cores of that. But we got to do what we got to do. Can't exactly do other things to help them. Oh well, I could pay off Timmy debt. It'd be an expensive way of doing it, but uh, maybe it's for the better. Yeah, it is expensive. All whoa, okay. I'm such a nice guy. Oh, well, that keeps Timmy off my back. Okay, I want to fight this war before these guys uh, get any funny ideas. It won't be probably quite so simple, but uh, actually it'll probably cost me a lot, especially with Afghanistan getting involved. Tech 18 or not, they're no small fry. Screw it, at least I get to eat up this land. Shia Shia. Didn't I force convert you? Am I misremembering this? I might not even annex you, I might force religion take this province and then come back for the next one later. I don't know. I will decide, but after I kill you. 
Lanyan will be mine. So it's the first time I've had to fight a war on my own for some time. I should probably be very scared. I am, however, quite glad that you are moving over to Grasslands. I don't like your six 